In exercise 2.5, first problem is we have to check whether the following sequences are in AP. We have 5 subdivisions, we will do one by one. So, how to find whether the following sequences are in AP is, in an AP the common difference between any two consecutive numbers will be equal. So, to find this, what will we do is, we will do T2 minus T1, T3 minus T2. If the D value is equal, then we can say it is an AP, we will do it one by one. So, in the first subdivision, this is T1, first term, second term, third term. So, T2 minus T1 is, T2 value is A minus 5 minus T1 value is A minus 3, A minus 5 minus A plus 3. So, A and A will get cancelled, minus 5 plus 3 is minus 2. Next is, we will check for 3 to T2. Next is we will check for T3 minus T2, A minus 7 minus T2 value is A minus 5, A minus 7 minus A plus 5. So, plus A minus A will get cancelled, minus 7 plus 5 is minus 2. So, if you see in this problem, the T2 minus T1 and T3 minus T2, both are same which is minus 2 and minus 2. Therefore, the common difference between any two consecutive numbers is constant which is equal therefore the above sequence is an AP and for the second problem we will follow the same steps to find whether the following sequence is an AP or not. So, we will consider this as T1 first term, second term, third term, fourth term. So, first what we have to do is T2 minus T1, T2 value is 1 by 3 minus 1 by 2. So, we have to take LCM between 3 and 2 LCM value is 6. So, in order to get 6 here we have to multiply it with 2. So, therefore, in the numerator also we have to multiply it with 2 1 into 2 2. To get 6 over here we have to multiply with 3 2 3s are 6 we have to multiply with 3 in the numerator as well. So, which is minus 3 therefore minus 1 by 6 we will check for T3 minus T2. T3 is 1 by 4 minus T2 value is 1 by 3. The LCM between 4 and 3 is 12. In order to get 12, we have to multiply with 3. Numerator also multiplying with 3, 1 into 3, 3. In order to get 12, 3, 4s are 12. So, numerator also we have to multiply it with 4. Therefore, minus 1 by 12. So, with this itself we can stop because minus 1 by 6 and minus 1 by 12 are not equal. Whereas, the common difference between any two terms are, on, are not equal. Therefore, the above sequence is not an AP. So, this is how we found whether the given sequence is an AP or not. And the th same thing will follow for the third problem as well. First term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term. T2 minus T1 is 13 minus 9. 13 minus 9 it is 4. Similarly, T3 minus T2 it is 17 minus 13. Again it is 4. Similarly, T4 minus T3 it is 21 minus 17 it is 4. T5 minus T4 it is 25 minus 21 again it is 4. So, if you see the common difference between any two consecutive numbers is equal which is 4. Therefore, the given sequence is an AP. In the fourth subdivision, we will follow the same steps to find whether the sequence is an AP or not. First term, second term, third term, fourth term. So, in order to find it is an AP or not, we have to do T2 minus T1 which is 0 minus. In T1, we have 1 minus. Therefore, it will become plus 0 plus 1 by 3, it is 1 by 3. Next is T3 minus T2. T3 value is 1 by 3 minus T2 value is 0. 1 by 3 minus 0 it is 1 by 3. Next T4 minus T3 which is 2 by 3 minus 1 by 3. Denominator is same 2 minus 1 it is 1. So, the common difference between any two consecutive numbers is the same which is 1 by 3. Therefore, the above sequence is an AP. Fifth subdivision is the same we have to do. First term, second term, third term, fourth term, fifth term, sixth term. So, T2 minus T1, 
t2 value is minus 1 minus t1 value is 1 minus 1 minus 1 it is minus 2 next is t3 minus t2 t3 value is 1 minus of in t2 we have 1 minus therefore it will become plus 1 which is equals to 1 plus 1 is 2 there is no not, not required to check the other consecutive terms because in the first two itself we have arrived that these two are not equal whereas the cons the difference between any two consecutive terms must be equal in this itself we found out that minus 2 and 2 are not equal therefore the above sequence is not an AP. So in the second problem we are given with a and common difference in three subdivisions we have with this we have to find the ap value we know how to find ap to find ap the formula is a a plus d a plus 2d a plus 3d etc it goes on so we are given with the value of a and d so it is if we substitute a and d we can easily find out an ap so a value is 5 5 plus 6 because d value is 6 5 plus 2 into 6 comma 5 plus 3 into 6 etc 5 11 5 plus 2 6 are 12 5 plus 6 3 is are 18 etc therefore 5 11 17 23 so for the given values of a and d the sequences that is the AP is 5, 11, 17, 23 etc. It goes on. Similarly, we will do it for the second subdivision. Okay. So, next is we have to similarly consider the AP A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D etc. It goes on. Now, the value of A is given as 7 and D is minus 5. So, 7 comma 7 minus 5 because we have plus over here and minus in d so i am replacing it as minus 5 a value is 7 plus 2 into minus 5 comma a value is 7 plus 3 into minus 5 etc it goes on 7 comma 7 minus 5 2 7 minus 5 2s are 10 we have minus over here therefore we replaced as minus 7 minus 5 3s are 15 so 7 2 minus 3 minus 8 so this is the ap for the given values of a and d next we have to find the same for the third subdivision we have to consider a a plus d a plus 2d etc it goes on so a value is 3 by 4 a value is 3 by 4 plus d value is 1 by 2 a value is 3 by 4 plus d value is 1 by 2 so 2 into 1 by 2 etc 3 by 4 between 2 and 4 the lcm is 4 and 4 into 1 is 4 therefore numerator also is multiplied by 1 3 plus 2 into 2 will give us 4 numerator should also be multiplied by 2 therefore 1 into 2 2 and here 2 and 2 can be directly get cancelled we will have 3 by 4 plus 1 etc 3 by 4 5 by 4 if we take LCM 3 plus 4 by 4 so 3 by 4 5 by 4 7 by 4 so this is the AP for the given values of A and D in the third problem we have to find first term and the common difference of the AP to find the first term and the common difference we are given with the nth term so with this we will find out the a and d values so how to do is we are given with t n from this we can get any values that is any terms t1 t2 t3 any terms we can get from t n so if i get t1 from this that will be the value of a and i'll get t2 from this d value is nothing but finding t2 minus t1 so simply we can find out the values of a and d by t n so t1 is equals to minus 3 into if it is n 1 over here also it is 1 2 into 1 t1 is equals to minus 3 plus 2 t1 is equals to minus 1 this is nothing but the first term we got the value of a therefore a equals to minus 1 t2 is nothing but minus 3 into 2 into 2 we are substituting n as 2 in this 
so minus 3 plus 4 minus 3 plus my plus 4 is 1 therefore t2 equals to 1 uh, so to find d we can use t2 minus t1 so t2 value is 1 minus t1 value is minus 1 it will become plus d equals to 2 so thus we have found out the value of a and d for the given nth term so this is how we have to find similarly for the next problem we will follow the same steps to find the values of a and d if i substitute n value as 1 i will get 4 minus 7 into 1 4 minus 7 which is minus 3 so t1 is equals to minus 3 which is also nothing but the value of a equals to minus 3 we will find t2 t2 equals to substituting the value of n as 2 in this equation 4 minus 7 into 2 4 minus 14 which is nothing but t2 equals to minus 10 so t to find d we can use t2 minus t1 t2 value is minus 10 minus t1 value is minus 3 therefore this will become plus which is equals to minus 7 so value of a is minus 3 and value of d is minus 7 for the above nth term given in the fourth problem we have to find the 19th term of an ap and we are given with an ap minus 11 minus 15 minus 19 etc so to find the 19th term we can use the formula tn is equals to a plus n minus 1 into d to find the 19th we have to replace n value as 19 therefore a plus 19 minus 1 into d t19 equals to a plus 18 d now we want the value of a and d this is so easy because the first term in an ap is a value which is nothing but minus 11 d could be found by using t2 minus t1 t1 value is minus 15 minus in t1 also we have 1 minus it will become plus minus 15 plus 11 is minus 4 so d value is minus 4 and a value is minus 11 if we substitute in this we will get the value of t19 a value is minus 11 plus 18 into d value is minus 4 minus 11 minus into plus minus 8 4 are 32 3 balance 4 ones are 4 72 therefore minus 83 t19 that is 19th term is minus 83 in the fifth problem we have to find which term of an ap the ap is given which term of an ap is minus 54 so let us find so tn is equals to minus 54 is given because we don't know which value of n it is minus 54 so we have considered as such tn can be expanded as a plus n minus 1 into d which is equals to minus 54 so if we can write the value of a from the given ap a equals to 16 and d could be found by t2 minus t1 which is 11 minus 16 which is equals to minus 5 therefore a value is 16 plus n minus 1 into d value is minus 5 which is equals to minus 54 16 minus 5 n plus 5 which is equals to minus 54 16 plus 5 it is 21 minus 5 n which is equals to minus 54 plus 21 if it goes to the other side it will become minus 21 minus 5 n is equals to both are in minus so we have to add and put the largest number sign which is nothing but 75 so minus and minus will get cancelled n is equals to 75 by 5 n is equals to 15 so for the 15th term only it will be minus 54 so t15 will be minus 54 in the sixth problem we have to find the middle terms of this ap to find the middle terms first we must know how many number of terms are in this ap then only we can find the middle terms of an ap we know to find the number of terms in an AP. For that, we will use the formula n equals to L minus A by D plus 1. 
So we know the value of A which is the first term it is 9. Value of L is 183 which is last term and D equals to T2 minus T1 which is 15 minus 9 which is 6. So we have written the values of N, L, D. We will substitute in this, we will find the number of terms, then we can find the middle terms of an AP. N is equals to L value is 183 minus A value is 9 divided by D value is 6 plus 1. N is equals to 183 minus 9, it is 174 by 6 plus 1. 174 when it is divided by 6, 2 times 12, 54, 9 times. So, N is equals to... 29 plus 1, n is equals to 30. So, n is equals to 30 in the sense we have number of terms as 30 in this AP. So, if it is 30 means from 1 to 30, we have 30 terms. From 1 to 30, the middle terms will be 15 and 16. Therefore, we have to find the middle terms means T15 and T16. We will find one by one to find T15. We know the formula of Tn as A plus N minus 1 into D. A value is 9. N value is 15 minus 1. D value is 6. 9 plus 14 into 6. 9 plus 24 to balance 8. So, 84 plus 9 it is 93. T15 is 93. One of the middle terms is 93. T16. We have to substitute the value of N as 16 in this. Therefore, A value is 9 plus 16 minus 1 into D value is 6. 9 plus 15 into 6. 9 plus 33 balance. 90. Therefore, T16 equals to 99. <coughs> the middle terms are 15 and 16 in 30. Therefore, T15 equals to 93 and T16 equals to 99. Okay, the seventh problem is if 9 times the ninth term is equal to the 15 times 15th term. So, we will consider the given uh, terms and we will bring this 6 times 24th term is 0. What it is given is 9 times 9th term. So, 9 into T9, 9th term is expressed as T9 which is equal to 15 times 15th term. 15th term is T15. Now from this we have to show this 6 times 24th term is 0. So how can we do is 9 into this T9 can be written as Tn is A plus N minus 1 into D. So if it is T9 A plus instead of N we have 9. Therefore 9 minus 1 into D which is equals to 15 into the same as for T15. So, if it is 15, we have to substitute the value of n as 15. a plus 15 minus 1 into d. Simplifying this, 9 into a plus 8d, which is equals to 15 into a plus 14d. Next step, what should we do is we have to multiply 9a plus 72d, which is equals to 15a plus 15 into 14, it is... 5 4s are 20, 2 balance, 4 1s are 4, 6, 1 5s are 5, 1 1s are 1, 0, 11, 2 10, 2 10 D. Now we will take A's to one side and the D's to one side. So it will become 15 A minus 9 A. I am taking these two terms to the other side. Therefore, 15 A minus 9 A plus 2 10 D minus 72 D which is equals to 0. 15 minus 9 it is 6 A plus 210 minus 72 it is 10, 10, 1, 8, 3, 1. So, 
138d equals to 0. We can take 6 in common, it will become a plus. If I take 6 in common, what will I get? 138 when it is divided by 6, 2 times 12, 23. 23d which is equals to 0. Now, what am I going to do is 6 into a plus this 23 could be written as 24 minus 1 into d which is equals to 0 because 24 minus 1 it is 3 this is nothing but t24 because if I substitute the value of n as 24 here what will I get a plus 24 minus 1 into d I have this a plus 24 minus 1 into d so I will replace the term within brackets as t24 which is equals to 0 so hence proved this is what we are asked to prove 6 times 24th term is 0 thus we have proved